What's going on, everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. And the Bulls have a tough task ahead. They have a huge road trip, which could be the deciding factor for the start of the season, determining you know determining how the rest of their season will be as far as record. So this is a very important road trip. You know, it's definitely going to be a lot of tough teams. You know, you got Golden State, you got Sacramento who's been playing good, you got Utah, a lot of good teams right now. But to start it off, before you head west, you have the Milwaukee Bucks. And that is going to be a challenge in itself. You know, you know the history we have with the Bucks from being put out of the playoffs last season to getting a gruesome injury by Grayson Allen to, you know, a lot of things. You know, Milwaukee, they pretty much ha handled us last season. And the Bulls are looking for revenge, but I feel like the Bulls will be up for a good challenge. And, you know, this is a very important game. And I just want to highlight a couple things the Bulls must recognize heading into that game and so i'm gonna get into that but before i do i want you guys to subscribe to my page as i keep you guys updated with the bulls content rumors gossip and news and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and talk about it and the first thing i want to talk about is continue where you left off and that means you know what the bulls were doing against the boston celtics because what they were doing was they were moving the ball they were playing excellent hard nosed defense. They were and they were giving effort. And those three things, you know, can lead to success for our team. You know, if they move the ball, they play with ball movement, that generates a lot of assists. And usually if we have over 36 assists, 32 assists a game, you know, we typically win those games. So I expect the Bulls to continue to play that way. You know, it's awesome to have, you know, DeRozan and Levine get their shots, but let them get their shots within the floor of the offense, specifically Levine. You know, DeRozan, he creates when he creates, but I feel like Levine is a far better player when he scores with the rhythm compared to when he's just trying to create for himself and hopefully Levine understands that and that'll be great to see you know the Bulls must play hard in those defense Milwaukee they haven't actually they actually haven't been a great offensive team this year their offense have actually been a little down compared to the past few seasons and that's due for numerous reasons of course they still are without Chris Middleton but expect the Bulls to turn up their defense a notch you know Giannis is going to do Giannis things the Bulls must be prepared for that and I'm also looking at a guy like Patrick Williams Patrick Williams must stay out of foul trouble because he is going to be our primary defender on Giannis onto the Kumbu and it's not really too many other people that can guard him you know Caruso does an excellent job in spurts Javon Vontae can do something in spurts and even Derrick Jones Jr. But Patrick Williams is that guy. And if he can step up to the challenge and play as well as he did last game against Jason Tatum, you know, that's great to see. That'll be a sign of progression for Pat. And I feel like Patrick Williams is going to be looking out for a chip on his shoulder. You know, they asked him a question last season. You know, are you scared of Giannis? He just looked at him like, really? And so I expect a good game out of Pat. I expect a big game out of Io, you know, to continue driving and being aggressive. And, you know, just the role players to step up. Caruso, I know he's ready. It's excellent that the Bulls will be playing the Bucks. It's sad it's not in Chicago, but Milwaukee is like the second home in Chicago. So we're going to have a lot of fans there. And you know how Bobby Portis brings the energy out of everybody. So... And, of course, we got our thing with Grayson Allen, so I expect to see those things. I expect to see, you know, tighter rotations also. I don't expect this upcoming game to be a 10-man rotation. If it does, it'll be at the start of the game, but just to see how the bench do. And uh, speaking of the bench, you know, hopefully they come out and be aggressive. I expect Goran Dragic to play well, to have a good bounce back game. I expect Drummond to play big in the paint, get, grab a lot of rebounds. You know, Crusoe and Javante bringing that energy, that toughness. And hopefully, you know, them and along with some shot maker from Kobe White, the bench can project the Bulls to play at a whole nother level compared to when the starters first start the game. So I feel like it's going to be a great matchup. It's going to be a close, tough game. And I feel like the Bulls are really going to have to earn this game. And if they can win this game, you know, they can feel good about themselves heading to the West, to the West Coast. And we definitely need this win. So, yeah, those are my few keys into winning. Of course, Giannis, 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 you got to do your best to contain him. But 
yeah we're gonna see what happens comment down below let me know what you expect to see out of this first game and i'm gonna holler at you guys later i'm out